Hello everyone, it's Crib and E, and welcome to the channel. In today's inspirational message, I'm talking about timing. Timing is everything in your life. From the time you wake up in the morning, the time you go to bed at night, things you accomplish, things that you don't get accomplished. It's all based on timing. And I was looking at the life of Joe last week. We were talking about his life and the things that he went through. And he went through a lot of things. He had a lot of stuff. He was wealthy, but he lost it all. And he went through season upon season upon season trying to understand what he was going through and why he didn't have what he used to have. That could be frustration for a lot of people in life. To have something one day, next day, it's gone. But remember that God always has a plan and he always has a season for your life as well as mine. Ecclesiastics 3 and 1. To everything, there is a season. So as I looked at his life, I got to the 42nd chapter of the book of Job and then began to talk about how he was restored from everything that he lost. His latter actually was greater than his former because he received double for his trouble. Job responds by recognizing God's ways are the best ways. And even sometimes when you don't understand, understand God certainly knows more than us. His ways are not like our ways and our thoughts are not like his thoughts. So during difficult times, overwhelmed by suffering was Job's mandate, but he was comforted by God and he was comforted by his faith in God. And after viewing Job's life, it shows how to rest in the Lord, even when life doesn't make sense. Many of us, we've had problems and situations in our lives that we went through some crazy stuff that we felt that we didn't deserve to go through. It just happened to us. We woke up, we had a good breakfast, but then we didn't have a so good of a lunch, and dinner was even worse. So Job had a very, very complicated and confusing life. But my question for you today is, how will you respond when things go get chaotic, confused, and you have a lack of understanding concerning the direction that you're heading in? That's when we need to pretend, but, but that's when we need to depend upon God to lead us and guide us into all truth. Facing a crisis is like, it could be a roller coaster thing. It could be disastrous. One thing after another. But Job in his life, he was stuck on hold. A lot of times when God is up to something, see, a lot of times we think that God will put stuff on you. But God's desire is not to harm you. He tells us in his word, I wish that you would prosper and be in good health, even as your soul prosper. So God wants to bless you. He desires to bless you. But when things come, storms come, circumstances come, God says, okay, I won't just wipe this right away. I want you to endure, to be able to be a conqueror, not just a conqueror, but more than a conqueror. So we go through those seasons, not understanding, but we got to understand that God is still with us because he promised that he would never leave us or forsake us. So, just like these fields, as you can see now, harvest is not in full bloom, but the ground is ready for the harvest and for the seed. That manifestation can take, can break forth in due season. And sometimes our lives may seem like this field, nothing's happening. Nothing's there. It seems to be dry, barren. But before you got there, before you even got up this morning, God already had the ground ready for your success. He already had you in mind, but he knew that your life was going to have to be harvested. And I tell you what, it only takes a seed to plant a harvest. So not just Job's life, but I was looking at another brother's life in the Bible. Peter, for example, 
Peter was told to get on the boat and go with the disciples across the water. And Jesus said, I would find you guys. So now here comes Jesus. But then at night, the water began to rock and there was a storm. And they were kind of afraid and they were kind of nervous. But then Peter looked up and seen Jesus. And he said, Jesus, if that be you, bid me to come to you. Jesus said, okay, come. So Peter stepped out of the boat. Now everybody else watching him get out of the boat, but perhaps they didn't have the courage and the strength to get out of the boat. Peter got out of the boat and began to walk towards Jesus. That's success. But once Peter began to realize that the water was still raging and he understood that he was doing something that he knew he couldn't do on his own, he got fearful. So then he began to sink. And that's what happens to a lot of us in life is that we get to a point where we feel that we can't make it to the greater places of God and we begin to look at our situation. And once you look at your situation, you begin to sink and lose hope. And Peter, when he took his eyes, he got distracted. He began to sink down. Jesus had to reach down and pull him up. And so, oh, ye of little faith. And so little becomes much when you place it in the master's hand because God already knew what was going to happen prior to him beginning to sink. And I'm so glad that Job showed himself to be a proven servant to God because God is looking for somebody that he can depend on in every season. Not when things are going well, but when things are not going well. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for this message. We pray that we'll get the full harvest. We pray that they'll get the full revelation of your timing and not ours. When you move in your timing and your season, we thank you for what you're about to do. Lead us into a greater place in you. In Jesus' name, amen. So, in the meantime, between the time, always remember that life is a be enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that subscription, notification, and thumbs up. We'll see you in the next video. And may God bless you all in due time and due season.